Bar Charts and Line Charts. First, let's import our dataset. Click on this icon and choose Microsoft Excel. Open the folder and select the Excel file. See here that the data type is not correct. Let's change it to date type. The other data type is correct. So let's move on and create a new worksheet by clicking on this icon. Double click to change the worksheet name. On the left side, there are the dimensions and measures. Now let's create a calculated field and call it total sales each year, since we do not have this value initially. Again, we can use the sum function. Check that it is valid and click OK. Great. Let's double click on date to add it to the worksheet. Next, double click on our calculator field 2. On the top right, there is a show me button. Click on it to see what visualizations we can make. For this exercise, let's choose bar chart. By default, it is shown horizontally. Switch the rows and columns to make a vertical bar chart. Now that we have a bar chart, let us edit the axis. Right click and choose Edit Axis. Rename the title. Close the window. Since the year is pretty self explanatory, let's remove the header label. Let's also double click on the title to change it. Note that the sheet name is the name we gave for the worksheet. Next, let's switch the view to fit the width. If we don't like the default color, we can change it by clicking on this icon. We can also change the size of the bars by clicking on Size. And the labeling by ticking the box for showing marked labels. There are options such as only showing the maximum and minimum values too. Below, we see that there is an icon for detail. If we drag a measure or dimension to the marked shelf and over the detail icon, it means that we have put them into the graph and we can access their details. For tooltip, if we hover over the bars, we see a little text box. That's the tooltip. We can edit it by clicking on the icon. Click Insert to insert measures and dimension values. Click OK to confirm. Now the tooltip will show our original message. Next, we can also add an average line for our bar chart. Let's go to the Analytics pane and find the average line. Drag it to show the table average. Let's edit it by right-clicking it. For the value, we can choose what type of calculation we are showing. For the label, Let's choose custom. In the text box, type average and click on the arrow icon. Choose value to show the average value.
change the line format and click OK. Now we have an average line. Before we make a line chart, let's rename the worksheet to bar chart. Now let's create a new worksheet and name it line chart. To start with, double click on the date again. Now let's also double click on each of these measures. Go to show me and choose line chart. Now we see that there are four separate line charts and that's not really what we want to see. We want one chart with four lines of different colors. So hover over the left axis and click on the top left triangle. Drag it to the upper chart and do the same for the others. Now we have one chart with different colored lines. On the right hand side, there is a legend. Right click and edit colors. Here we can freely choose and assign colors For line chart specifically, there is a line icon. Click on it and we can change the line to steps or lines. We can also change the thickness of the lines by clicking on the size icon. If we want to show markers, click on the color icon and choose dots. <laughs> Lastly, let's also edit the axis title, the worksheet title, and remove the year header. This is the end of the module. It can move on to the next module, making pie charts and maps.